I am Yuget Sentile, coordinator for the Cultural Division Summer Art Program. And um, we had that um, program going for at least two weeks, from the 6th to the 16th of August. Um, actually, it was a very interesting program, very interesting. We had them for two age groups, 7 to 10 and 11 to 17. The tutors were um, specialists in the wood carving, arts and craft, um, dance. Uh, we had steel pan and um, what and choir and choir for the little ones. So the smaller ones got a chance to do some um, singing. Singing, they also got to dance. My name is Maria Fana. I'm the choir. Um, instructor for the little ones the little people group yeah they've been receptive the aim every year is to always teach them at least one dominican folk song obviously two weeks is not a, a long time so you need more than that to really put it together how you would like to do you know with full choreography and good expression um, it's a lot of work, but they've been receptive. This year we learned Nature Isle by Jean Lawrence Maturin, so they're going to present that at the showcase. They also got to um, play the recorder and the drumming. I think the little ones love the drumming a lot. Now the older ones, they were given the choice to do um, three different types of dances, so uh, they, had to, they had to choose. So we had hip hop, we had contemporary dance, and we had creative dance. Um, I have to think for the dances because there are so many different types of dances now. And after that now, they also had to choose uh, between the woodcraft. So they had uh, Mr. Orlando Coffey actually um, giving his session in the wood carving and jewelry. So some of them chose jewelry and some of them chose wood carving. My name is Orlando Coffey. I'm the wood carving and jewelry teacher at Old Mill for the summer arts program. What we um, usually try to do is to teach the kids how to do um, fun little designs out of wood. It's a two week program. And then we also thought last year that we should do some jewelry. So we started the jewelry program as well. Um, I try to make them use um, more of the natural like wooden beads instead of the plastic ones just to make them do little bracelets, um, necklaces, earrings. And um, I, we also do the program for the DIFA um, program during the school year at the Dominica Institute for the Arts, which is part of the Old Mill program as well. And we also had that large group, very large group of 11 to 17 doing steel pan. And Ms. Venandra Christian actually was the tutor for that. She's very, very versatile on the drums and on the pan. Hi, I am Venandra Christian and I am conducting the steel pan workshop at the Cultural Division for summer 2019. Basically, I'm trying to introduce steel pan to some students who may or may not have ever encountered the pan before and help them get a little bit of that culture that we don't want to die, we want to keep it going alive. So for this session, I'm teaching them a basic history of the pan and the basic scales and we're focusing on the theme one love so we're going to do a little smash up of one love by bob marley and that local annie bio love that everybody knows and loves so one love <laughs> For the older, older students, we had um, Rebecca Waffen doing contemporary dance and Mr. Uh, Mr. Gandhi Robin doing the hip hop dance. Hi, I'm Rebecca Worthen. I'm the contemporary dance teacher for the teen division. 
and we've been focusing on the movement fundamentals, how to use our bodies in space, and how to create choreography. So in the last week, we've um, come up with some new movement. Each student has contributed to our dance, and we're going to perform it on Friday. So I'm very excited. Uh, my name is Gandhi Robin. Um, I am working with the summer program with the Old Mill or the Cultural Division, basically teaching the young kids new style hip hop. Um, I myself have been dancing for a number of years, traveled, um, taking part in workshops, international battles, competitions and so on. So I'm trying to share the knowledge that I have um, collected over the years. The kids are really enjoying it, the, the ideas, the concepts, um, basically being able to be creative in expressing yourself. So it's a real good program. I'm happy to be a part of it. And I, I hope the kids get um, as much as they can out of it. And we shared also between, between um, Higano, Dorival, for the smaller ones doing the, contemp the creative dance. Um, I must say that the program went on very well, very, very well. Uh, for the for the art and craft with Miss Heather Tulo and Mr. Aaron Harrington, the 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 older students got an opportunity to do some tie dyeing. They also did that still drawing, using pencil and acrylic paint or water paint, and to do that three dimensional sort of um, picture process and um, they also got an opportunity for them to use acrylic paint on acrylic background or background set out for acrylic painting and they did some very lovely designs. Uh, the, for the smaller ones now we also had um, some real versatile sort of craft so they created bird-like shapes out of paper and other, other things because I saw quite a few different um, creations on the table there today. And also they got a chance for them to do their own, their own hand painting on their t-shirts. So with the, the, the um, presentations, you will notice that the older students are using their own shirts that they tie-dyed for the presentation. And the younger ones are also using their own t-shirts that they sort of stamped or hand painted. Uh, somehow that craft was just um, very, very interesting for me because they had leaves, they had other things where they used the paint on those um, background materials and then they used them to stamp on their t-shirts. This came out quite nice. Um, also, I noticed that um, Heather, very crafty, used very, very tiny bits of colored paper and those students were able to create some very, very picturesque um, sceneries and background things um, to showcase their, their art in creating colors and making things show up on like a 3 d base um, portrait. Okay, so I'm Heather Tulo. I'm here presently at the Old Mill for the summer program, the children's summer program which is an annual affair that takes place actually here. So over the years, I have had the opportunity and the, the um, wonderful time to be here with them and really teach them different aspects of art. So this year, we focused on well, the two groups. We, we work, I was working together with my, my team which is Mr. Aaron Hamilton, a professional um, artist that we have here in Dominica. And now this year we focused on um, like drawing and painting, uh, different levels. So we, there's a seven to 11 age group, which is the younger one obviously. And they did some paintings, some drawings that, that, that they could manage. And today we actually they let them do some of their, their own t-shirts by print, which they are going to use on Friday in their presentation. And um, the t-shirts took in the form of um, printing 
by using leaves and painting one side and the side of that leaf. We printed it onto the t-shirt and then designed it with other fabric paints. Then um, the, the bigger ones, where they did some tie-dyeing and um, we stuck with the sort of African sort of theme, emancipation and the sort of, that sort of um, aspect, accent. So I, they did together under my supervision, I got them to do some, a pattern called the yoke, which gave them an interesting you know, look that very Africanish, Takishi sort of style. So they have completed that, be ready on starts tomorrow, Friday, for their big audition, the, the big um, show that they're going to put together for the parents. And apart from that, we, we this segment did a lot of art. And um, art, in, as I said, painting and drawings, um, and also some origami, not, not, not too much of that today, and the mosaic. So I tried to look at different aspects of it with them. And both Erin and myself, working as a team, did, we feel, I think we did a pretty good job at reaching the students and they really learning something this for just for two weeks, just two weeks, but every day we managed to get something done. And that was really, really, really important. And they were also very interested and that's a really wonderful thing. I mean, they had a fun time. They would dance and laugh and talk and just, you know, really get down to their work and at the same time having a really great experience, an awesome experience, I would say, if I had to um, underline it with this word. And um, today we are ending with, uh, with um, final touches on the, whatever we have done and completing everything so that there can be an exhibition tomorrow as the parents come in and take a look. So apart from us, there are different things that they will see tomorrow. And, but as I said, in our segment, we are focusing on the fine arts, visual arts in particular. You can see the versatility of the children because within two weeks, they were able to use a, a full length um, music and dance to it. The drumming, drumming, drumming. When you look at that drumming session, I cannot understand how Mr. Harris got the students in two weeks time for them to be able to identify their tone, tone, bass, whatever it was he was giving them, and, and came up with some creative pieces of presentation artistically, um, worked out with hands and drums and stuff like that. Yeah, man, greetings, good day, love, blessings, strength. My name is Edwin Harris. I'm a musician, a man that develops culture, music, craft and my love and my strength is to work with the youths you know because they are our mirror of tomorrow so we got to give them some inspiration that they could really um, have something to give back to the younger ones that even to come after them so here I come with the drums you understand because the drums is something that holds a lot of mind energy and it's something that could tune you to be somebody different or somebody very special because the drums is the foundation, you know. So uh, my level right now is to give the little that I know concerning in drums, drum setting, drum tuning. And working at the old mill with the youths, it's something that I always wanted to do, working with the youths, especially when it comes to music and drums. So the mood is just like um, getting to know yourself, getting to know the energy and the spirit of the drums because it has to deal with the ancestors and the energy that the drums bring out. You know, it will um, put a better mindset to you with discipline, respect and something that you could hold on to. So that is the whole footage of my energy at the old mill, at the drumming workshop. Because I work with youths from the age of 7 to 17 and the feedback that I'm getting is a very good one because I see myself just as the way they are, you know, I see myself just like the same youths because at their age, I never had that opportunity. So right now, I know a little now, so it's my love and my duty to at least give back to the youths, give them something that they could remember what is hold to so they could pass it on 
and keep the vibration and the tradition alive. Yeah, the old mill, that's what it is about. You know, we got arts, we got craft, we got wood carving, we got steel pan, we got jewelry making, we have recorder, and all the rest that goes along with it. So then, this is something every parent could look forward to every summer to send the children so that they could get themselves organized and be something better tomorrow. And that's the way it's supposed to be now and continually. Side. And um, what I would like to say is that um, parents have to understand that when we, we um, set out to do a workshop, we bring in materials and we also bring in um, um, items for the children to work with for their age group. So the, the bigger ones were working with some very sharp tools, very sharp tools, and um, the smaller ones had to be indulged or involved with uh, looking at painting and being able to utilize the paintbrush and to craft their work. So that's why the, the program is really set for 10 to, to te, um, 7 to 10 and 11 to 17. When we decide to do something for four, five and six year olds, we will obviously have to have the material for them. So we're hoping that you will understand when we tell you we cannot take the train for five and six year olds because the program is just not set up for that. Um, something else I would like to tell you is that when the children um, get that base and they're ready, um, you don't know what they're going to turn out to be. So you have to give them a wide base, a wide um, area of um, activity that they can put themselves through and put themselves into and um, get them to be able to single out what is their passion. So DIFA, that's the Dominical Institute for the Arts, is open all year round, like a school, September to June. So register the children at least an afternoon or two in some of the things that we put on here today. The dance is there, the steel pan is there, the drumming trap set is there, recorder playing is there, um, traditional drumming is there. Um, the woodwork is still going on, the arts and craft, the painting is still going on. So get them to tell you what is it they like and spend some time um, molding your children because the arts and sports have a lot of money. I think that is where our, our tourism is heading. And that is business, it's business sense. And it gives them the opportunity if they can't find an office job we all can work in an office, we all can't work in hotels. So there are people that are very skillful with their hands and some of the children are very, very, very skillful. The brain is set out in two compartments, the left side and the right side. The right is academic and the left side is for the arts and the sports. If you don't, um, if you don't tease the left side of the brain, then it becomes lazy. And that is where some of us are lacking. We do not try to give our students, our children, enough activities to do for the, to, to capitalize on what the left side of the brain has to offer and um, give them something for life. Because you don't, I, I teach for, for sure, but I have taught students that end up being lawyers, doctors, and also engineers and they still utilize their craft and their art for them to make their side money. The band, we had um, a DIFA band um, preparing for CXC music, doing a presentation for the children. That's another option. Music, some of the children, they are very musically minded. So I hope after seeing that, um, this presentation by the little Jacques and the, and the and Ethan Charles and Jody at university studying for music. When you all see that, there's a chance for your children. Find the spot, find the, the area that the children are very good at and help yourselves and your children.